everybody, Mrs. BG here at Wings, Wills, and Waves, a hobby shop formerly in Ohio that has relocated to North Carolina. Woohoo! Um, we're in town for my work, but we get to have a little bit of fun. So let's take a tour. All right, we got some very, very big variety of kits here. Take you down the sci fi Gundam aisle. All kinds of fun kits. Um, I haven't seen so many of some of these kits, I think, ever. Um, we all know Mr. BG has done a few of the Space 1999 kits. Again, a large selection. Really cool. Got uh, some Star Wars. Some of the um, more Space 1999 kits. Star Trek. Uh, got some Gundam down here. Got a great selection. Let's see. Um, lots of Bandai kits. Lots of fun stuff. Oops. And uh, get you a little sneak peek here at all the fun kits they've got. Lots and lots of options. Um, let's see here. Take you down the aisle. So this is a fantastic selection of Gundam and sci-fi. Very, very impressed. Um, Brian builds a little bit of these. I think there's some fun kits. Uh, just some nice options here. Get some of these bigger kits. We got the Saturn V. Brian built the Lego version of that. Um, some really nice kits up here. Very cool. Just an awesome selection. Uh, they've been open here about two weeks. So if you're in the area, come on down. Um, we drove down from Cary, North Carolina, doing a bit of a tour. Um, they have a fantastic paint selection and they mix some of their own paints. Um, got the MCW finishes. So it's been around for about 30 years. They mix those all in house. Um, lots of colors uh, up to about the 1980s, late 70s, um, in the lacquers. And then in the enamels, they can do um, just about any color. So, of course, I went shopping. So did Mr. BG. Uh, I think a lot of you know that I, <laughs> I love color and I'm always excited about new paints. And then they have, of course, the uh, it Tamiya, Tamaya, Tomato, Tomato. Um, <laughs> good selection of those. There's more of the Tamiya and then more of the MCW enamels. Lots and lots of really cool options. Um, I like this, uh, nope, that's not the one. It's Night Mist Blue. Really dark, pretty color. That's the Nissan one. Ha! Here we go. Here's the one that I like. Gorgeous dark blue metallic. Um, and then, of course, the turquoises. I'm in a blue mood today. <laughs> anyway, we've got a um, good selection of Mr. Hobby. And then the Vallejo model colors as well. So, great selection. And of course, no hobby stores complete without their bits and bobs, accoutrement selection. Um, glue, brushes, the weathering pencils, uh, milliput, some other tools, our beloved green mats, cutting mats save countless of surfaces <laughs> across the world. Um, and then I'll find all kinds of fun stuff to help make the hobby a little bit easier and of course our masking tapes 
Gotta have those. Okay, now to the automotive section. I've got a bunch of kits here. Some really great fun ones that are on sale. That Chevy, um, because it would be a tow truck, is kind of cool. Um, Nova, Galaxy, Chevy 2 station wagon, those are kind of fun. The Californian, I think somebody got that at the Christmas exchange for the uh, Model Car Mafia Christmas uh, meeting. So, kind of fun. Very right. cool. More cars. Very nice. Let's see what we've got here. Um, really nice kits. Good selection. Lots of options. And uh, good prices. So, again, uh, if you're in the area, you should stop in. Um, the gentleman that owns this hobby shop is actually a friend of Lucas C., so that's kind of cool making connections all over um i think that's one of my favorite parts of uh, youtube and the hobby and just the people that we've gotten to meet all over um just been really fun it's uh it's really cool i uh, definitely enjoy that aspect of things um get to meet new people go new places and see lots of fun new things oh that porsche is cute Let's see here. Oh, the Henry J. Uh, Brian's done a few of those. I think Chuck's done a few of those. Fun car. All right. The Nova, the Avanti Studebaker. Um, fun thing. Uh, I just think these are the coolest cars. We saw one in our neighborhood, and I had to do a little research, and uh, like the Avanti. So Brian built one for me, which is really cool. And, of course, the... Jaguar uh, XKE is also a really fun, fun car. We've got our 34 Coupe. <laughs> um, I think Brian had one of those as well that he's built. So it's a fun stuff. Wild Hoss Bronco looks pretty cool. Um, the Monza looks a little interesting. Another one of those art series cars. Lots of fun. Um, let's see if we can, uh, oops, get that right side up for you. That's kind of an interesting car. Fun. Um, oh, sorry. I'm losing, losing my camera. <laughs> Got another ramp truck. Those are cool. Um, oh, 32 Ford Roadster. I think those are always, um, popular. International Scout. I really like those vehicles. Those are cool too. Of course, our Dodge Charger. Lots of fun. Um, the Willys are cool too with their big pipe shifters. Quite interesting. Um, let's see here. Got a 66 Ford Fairlane. <laughs> I actually had a Ford Fairlane for a year in high school. It was a four door, it was that kind of weird, buffy cream color. It's an interesting car. Drove it for a year, and then when the transmission died, that was it. But um, <laughs> the only time I've had a Ford. Oh, let's see here. Oh, got another Porsche Carrera. That's cool. That wild one MPC looks like kind of a fun car. Uh, let's see. Ah, the Foxy Box. I think I uh, can't remember if um, Louis built one of those. An artistic modeler, but it looks familiar. Um, let's see here what we've got Camaro another Nova drove a Nova in uh, college for a little while too <laughs> and it wasn't a cool one but that's all right all right up to the top shelf I've uh, got the uh, V8 engine that's pretty cool Brian's done that half cab we found one of those at Brookhurst Hobbies back in California got some cool big rigs 57 Chevy, right? I hope. I hope I've got... Oh, Thunderbird. Yeah, uh, it's a Ford. <laughs> That's all right. You guys will forgive me. Lots of fun. Uh, let's see. The refuse truck is kind of cool. Um, Brian's done a few of those. Ladder Chief. I think we've got one of those at home. Mack truck. 
few other big rigs. So pretty decent automotive selection and uh, something for everybody. And we got a few, few display cases and a few more uh, car kits down here on the bottom shelf. Um, again, he's uh, been setting this up the last couple of months and just been open for two weeks. So, ooh, what did I find? Uh, let's see here. I like that. Of course, it's the Japanese muscle stuff that um, I am very fond of. So, uh, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the tour and we'll see you soon. Thank you. And I've got a pretty good selection of military. Um, just kind of do a little tour. We've got some airplanes here. Um, it's a pretty good corner section of airplane and military vehicles. Um, so lots of fun there. Just a quick tour. Whole row behind me full of airplanes. Tanks. I think Brian's looking for one. I'll have to ask him which one again because I don't remember. Pretty sure he's got a Hellcat kit. I know. Blasphemy. Car builder building military. But, you know, it's fun. It's a good palate cleanser sometimes to switch genres and uh, just have a good time. Ooh, look what I found. A Naboo Starfighter. It's uh, kind of like the Mandalorian ship. Uh, really cool, actually. It probably is the Mandalorian ship. Um, all of this is just from the uh, episode one Phantom Menace, but very cool. All right, we're going to get some of the ships for Arizona Dave. Um, just a, a, a small section, but some real fun stuff. Get up here and see what we've got. Uh, let's see here. Let's go look. We've got the uh, Nelson British battleship. That's kind of fun. USS Missouri. Oops, hope you guys can see okay. Uh, let's see here. That's kind of a fun boat there. The uh, DKM Type 7C U boat. <laughs> uh, let's see. A few ships. Oh, nice. Very cool. It's coming. All right, we got a special treat for you guys. Mike was kind of enough to let us build the back area of the MCW paint uh, production area. So every one of these cans is a different color of automotive paint. So that's really cool. This is the bottling area. Um, got lots of bottles on the shelf. So really, really cool to just get a sneak peek at that production area. Um, again, you should check out their paints. Lots of really cool colors and options. Uh, it's a one stage for the lacquers. Um, and uh, Mr. G BG can probably post a link and some other info on that as well. So just kind of a really cool behind the scenes sneak peek. Um, kind of neat to see that.